Hello. I will show you a modification I've done with this goggles. Station goggle one. The mode is for external video and audio input. You can select external or internal video audio signal with this tester. Here is video input vi uh, and video output and here on top is audio input and audio output. I can show you how it is inside. Ah, first, first I must say I have done here a modification to I can adjust the uh, the focus because I am glass wearer and I need a plus six. Uh, the op trees. I have to uh, put here inside my glass with six the op trees and put it here. And so I can adjust the image. To open this, I must take it apart. Here on this part of the PCBs are the connections. I will focus on this part. Here is here is the receiver and here was a condensator I'm, I soldered another condensator here and now I have on the side uh, where the receiver is my video output and on this side is my video input I, can, I have soldered these two cables and goes here to this RCA connector. And with this, uh, I've soldered here the video input, goes here to this RCA connector, uh, and this is my video output from the receiver and goes here. And with this uh, taster, uh, I bridge in and output. When I push it on, then it is normal from f factory. And when it is off, this uh, these two solder points are. Uh, not connected. Only is only connected here to RCA connector. And with audio, the audio output from this receiver is here for 6.5 
megahertz inter uh, uh, frequency for the audio carrier and this is for six six uh, megahertz inter uh, frequency for the audio carrier <coughs> this is no connected because uh, go nowhere on this uh, PCB and uh, this audio output goes to my audio au output jack here and the input goes here on this on this side now I have uh, audio output and audio input so. I will show you how, uh, how it is when I give here a little battery and take on. Now I have here a camera, external camera, with this RCA cable, and I connected this, this to my Douglas video input. You see? picture is very 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 clear ah, I forgot to say this is a without a frenzy lens without this frenzy lens I don't want it this is this guy here <laughs> for my plane this is my pilot so and when I want the picture from my quadcopter I push this switch and give power to my quadcopter oh moment I must disconnect this first and an antenna Open the door. And you can see both. Now this is the image from my quadcopter. Here. From the camera of, from my quadcopter. I close the door because outside is too much sun. Because this goggle have sometimes blackout. One moment. Because this camera, uh, this goggle has sometimes blackouts. With this DVR, when you connect a uh, DVR, uh, this is uh, I think a PV100. Uh, uh, when you connect this with these cables on this uh, input output RCA jacks, you have never 
black out and then this goggle is perfect for FPV flying for FPV flying and of course for with HDMI connector it's a uh, uh, perfect picture for home theater I I will try to connect this uh, DVR and show you how it is So I take on the DVR. Where is it? Here. One moment. Now it's ready. Take on the quadcopter. And you see the image. Oh, moment, I open the door again. So you can see. Now, I disconnect my transmitter from, from my quadcopter and you can see there is no blackout. You see? Now I have connected. Now it is without connection. You never have blackouts with this with this solution because this DVR uh, gives uh, synchron impulse pulses to this unit all the time now we have uh, this picture but with uh, synchron impulse we have never blackouts with this solution Again, and once more with that camera, with that guy. Here is my video video input again. I'll close the door. You see? Image is perfect. This is external video input. Of course I have audio too with audio. Okay. There is nothing more to show you. Once more here. And here are the connections.
here is my audio output on this pin here is my video uh, audio input sorry here is my audio input here is my video output from my from this internal receiver and this here I connected my video input from the external camera direct here I connect the external camera on this condensator okay thank you